Hi there, my name is Otto Pirinen. I'm a design engineer at OptoFidelity Limited. Today I'll be showing you how to run web-based service performance tests using OptoFidelity's watchdog. So, uh, here we have the setup uh, and as a device we have selected Apple's iTouch and our service is YouTube. So, uh, let me just put watchdog on test mode and then I can start to test by simply starting the service on the device. As I start the test, you can see the user interface starting to react and it seems that the service is loaded and it's ready so we can stop the test and see what kind of results we got. The report is automatically opened in your default web browser. If we look at the report with a bit more detail, we can see three types of events. We can see I.O. events, which emerge from user interaction, pre-events, which are triggered by a change beginning in the user interface, and post-events, which describe stationary states in the user interface. Between every pre-event post-event pair, the user interface goes through some visual change. We can open a more detailed level of reporting by clicking on any of the event images. If we open, for example, the first pre-event, we can see a timeline of frames where the selected frame is framed with red. And if we go back to the main report, we can see that the service finished loading in 2.27 seconds. And at the bottom, we can see the test parameters used in this test. So basically, it's that easy. Quick results reliably, repeatably. Be sure to check optofidelity.com for updates and 